Hey, hey everybody, up? welcome to Comic Book Club. Uh, I'm Pete. I'm Justin. And we're going to do a speed, speed round. round. Alex is um, not here. He's work at home working on his second baby. Yeah. Uh, so That's exciting stuff. Keep and we're still at Midtown Comics. Keep cheering on. You'll see because people will be walking by. Uh, uh, Pete, kick it off. Yes, I'd love to. Proof number 25, a uh, double issue. Twice as much proof in one comic. Uh, fantastic. Double proof. Yeah, just amazing. What's nice about this one is they split it up. You get uh, two sides of two different things that are going on in the proof world right now. Uh, awesome, awesome stuff. Amazing art. Fantastic writing. Delight. Check it out. Now moving on, we have Red Robin number eight. Um, I love this series. Finally, we see a Robin being awesome all the time. Uh, uh, Christopher Yost is killing it with his comic. It's one of my favorite Batman family titles uh, right now. Definitely pick it up. Uh, Hack Slash number 29. Uh, Hack Slash... Uh, the art, uh, every issue it seems like now is it's like split in two, where it's like you have uh, art and then a different kind of style in the same comic, which is fun and very enjoyable. Uh, I do look forward to when they get back to kind of like one thing. That being said, it's amazing, it's fun, it's hilarious, you should check it out. Cable number 22, um, this sort of the first issue of this series that's been, that bummed me out lately. Yeah. I've loved this entire series so far, but this one is the first one that seems like it's a little tired of the time travel. We get it. They've been traveling through time a lot. In this issue, they're doing it like five, six times, um, it, to the point where an X-Men back in modern day is looking through a history book, and they're like, did Cable fight in the Revolutionary War? What a weird thing. Well, see you later. Um, it'll, I'm sure it'll get better, but this is a tough issue for me personally. Kill Audio number four of six. This uh, comic is crazy. It's nuts. It's crazy. It's over it's the top. It's crazy? It's over the top. Art is fantastic. Writing is fun. Uh, it, it walks the line between like gross and hilarious. Between like and, kill audio and live audio. And, and like absurd and like uh, the guy who walks around with the boner. Uh, it's, it's oh man, that uh, is crazy. Yeah. I've never done that before. <laughs> I've never done that before in my life. Uh, but it's fun. You should check it out. Um, we got uh, Superman World of New Krypton number 22. Um, here we have um, Superman and Adam Strange involved in the movie story. Um, I love love this series. It's great to see Superman interesting again, sort of out of his comfort zone. Um, there's some character here, which is great. It's not just him rushing off to fight some crime uh, here and there. Um, and it just keeps getting better, so definitely pick it up. Jonah Hex number 51. It's amazing. Every issue is solid. I say it all the time, but Jonah Hex is just... It's one character doing his thing, and they don't try to change it too much. It's just him being Jonah Hex, and it's awesome. It doesn't get tired. I haven't got tired of it. It's amazing. Keep up the great work. Oh, you should also know um, the, the economy's back, guys. Look at all the people in the comic book store. They're here. We're all here. <laughs> We're all making it happen. So uh, that's great. Um, the Uran Marvel Boy, the Uranian number one of three. Uh, this uh, limited series by Jeff Parker, uh, carrying on with uh, a character from... Um, one of the books that he's been so pushing for so long, Agents of Atlas. Um, I like the art in this a lot. Um, it's nice. The, the book itself is a little herky-jerky. It sort of cool. cuts like a movie where they're like jump cuts. It's a that. lot of explaining like yeah. why we can't just call him Marvel Boy. Yeah, right. So what? He's from Uranus. You know? <laughs> Not a joke. Um, right. So hopefully it'll get better. All right. Uh, the last one for me, Sweet Tooth number five. Uh, wow, what a twist. This series has been amazing. Uh, really great surprise for me uh, from Vertigo. Uh, a spoiler, uh, the guy who's been with Sweet Tooth, kind of on his side, like the, the kind of rough uh, Punisher type guy, just <laughs> sells Sweet Tooth up the river. Uh, I couldn't believe it when I saw that last page. Maybe a real lesson about the Punisher there. Maybe he's a jerk. No, he's not. No, I think he's he one is. of the greatest people. I think he is. Great 10, number three of, you guessed it, 10. Um, I've been very pleasantly surprised by this series. Um, these characters are, are new, but they're they're interesting, and there's some nice backstory and current story going on with them. Um, definitely worth a try if you're looking for just some great, straight-up superhero uh, titles. And great, the art is very nice. It's uh, the, the, uh, Mr. McDaniel worked on uh, Nightwing for a while, and I finally remember his run on that. Um, well, that's the end of a speed round. Uh, yeah. So quick. So fast, huh. uh, and uh, don't worry, we will eventually be allowed back into Zelvin's house to recreate with the, uh, the green screen and yeah. all the fun we were having. Oh, there. this is green screen. This is all. <laughs> it's so hard to animate the people uh, walking yeah. back and forth, but we do it. Yeah. Because that's the kind of quality we insist on for the show. All right, see you next time. Thank you, folks. Uh, check us out every Tuesday night in New York City at 8 o'clock.
for a little show I like to call Comic Book Club. <laughs> Later. <laughs>